Hello and welcome from St. Andrew Lutheran Church in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, a member congregation of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. I am Chris Atwood, the Director of Faith Formation here at the church. And I invite you today, Good Friday, to come and adore the cross. The cross will be here from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. today. If you received one of our Lent at Home kits, you received a stone inside of it. The stone that you carried through Lent that holds your griefs, your burdens, your cares, your joys that we lay at the base of the cross during adoration. A reading from Luke. And people stood by watching, but the leaders scoffed at him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself. If he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, You are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him that read, This is the King of the Jews. One of the criminals who was hanging there said to him, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same condemnation? And we have indeed been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, truly I tell you, you will be with me in paradise. Again, a reading from Mark. The inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews, and with him they crucified two bandits, one on his right and one on his left. Those passing by paraded him and shaking their heads, saying, Ah! You who could destroy the temple in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests, along with the scribes, were also mocking him, among themselves saying, save others. He cannot save himself. Let the Messiah, the King of the Jews, come down from the cross now so that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified along with him also taunted him. When it was noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama shabam, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And again, from Luke. It was now about noon. The darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. When the sun's light failed, the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying in a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. When the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God and said, Certainly this man was innocent. And when all the crowds who had gathered there for the spectacle saw what had taken place, they returned home, beating their breasts. But all his acquaintances, including the women who had followed him from Galilee, stood at a distance watching these things.
Behold, the life-giving cross on which hung the salvation of the whole world. We invite you from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. to come and bring a stone from your Lenten box or a stone of your own choosing and lay it at the feet of the cross. Behold, the life-giving cross on which hung the salvation of the whole world. Come into your kingdom, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom.